foolish those that pride themselves to be wise there are so many calls you will need to stay on the altar because the same God can say go and crucify go and sacrifice Isaac your son and then in the moment of time he now changes his mind and say uh, well you just stop you know uh, that's where we are you have never been this way before we have never been this way before and the Lord was bringing a word of caution in my devotion this morning stay on the altar that was the counsel he gave me stay on the altar trust me for discernment discernment because there will be people that are masquerading to be who they are not and you'll be swept away except your heart is trained to design i've forgotten number three forgotten okay well if i remember i will let you know but please do not lean on your own understanding do not trust on your strategy many things that have worked before we fail next year will fail completely completely and watch it some things that were prevalent predominant in our political experience you know we fail this time they said if you have a bottomless a bottomless pit of money you have money as much as can fill a bottomless pit you can win elections you might find out that uh, it will not work now so there are so many corps he says stay on the altar and trust me for discernment trust me for what so you were just too accurate and i showed pastor raka so this is my own little download and i can confirm that the prophet in our midst was using the radar very very accurately hallelujah meanwhile for your information the lord said that uh, uh he's going to you've been faithful he said you've been faithful and that is going to increase your sensitivity you will increase your sensitivity and also he will adopt you into a forum in the spirit a forum in the spirit where uh, privileged and classified matters will be unveiled to you so your sensitivity will be increased and you'll be adopted into a colony uh, that will afford you the opportunity to have access to classified information amen, amen. now i believe that some anything that is of the spirit of god cannot be lost so i have my little mind has misplaced a very powerful uh, direction so maybe if we pray in tongues for like a few minutes maybe the download might come again so please help me by just praying in the spirit to strengthen my own spirit to be able to pick that which uh, i just i lost because of the body of christ uh, we need to retrieve that matter yeah oh my father be a so sela mina braske fote kasgeza mia tola e so sai ko brevo na hanteli suke brabino hamparata baburia berisko senda thank you jesus like i said spiritual things don't get lost So he whispered to me, maybe uh, I prefer using the words of scripture to express 
so many things. Um, let me make an attempt. Three verse. All right, let's, let me use the scripture. I think this scripture seems to be more robust than my own uh, attempt. Uh, Malachi chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3. Malachi chapter 3. Because of the terrible things that I saw that I cannot share in public, I myself have decided to stay on a fast until mid next year. Terrible things. Now what's wrong with this your screen? Okay, the screen cannot support me. So uh, Malachi three verse sixteen. Then they that feared the Lord speak often one to another and the Lord hacking and had it and the book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and taught upon his name. I think this scripture seems to um, capture it said they that fear the Lord they speak often one unto another and the Lord hearkened and the Lord heard it, and a book of remembrance was written. So my emphasis for drawing your attention to this scripture is a commodity called the book of remembrance. The book of remembrance speaks about a system that makes God recall previous investments. There's a system that makes God recall previous investments that were made. And the Lord spoke to me and the Lord said, it is a season of harvest. No, no, you see, you don't understand. Don't be quick to say amen. You know, we are used to, may you not. Harvest means that you have spent some time sowing some seeds, okay? So the effect of the seeds that men have sown will accumulate and will begin to speak. Some have worked in falsehood and have been able to cover their falsehood for the last 10 years. They have successfully perfected how to manage a stage to sell a certain image to people. But in the day when this book of remembrance will be consulted, there will be a massive recompense that is consistent with the seeds that have been sown. By mid next year, it will be obvious the great divine. Okay, well, wow. okay, the television is still all right. See, let me finish the reading so that I will give. Normally, when we hold uh, the convergence in Lagos, I labor to ensure that we can secure some form of direction on Saturday morning so that we stay on course. Especially now that um, the things that are coming up in the place of prayer are suggestive of a lot of dexterity and skill and most of the knowledge we have accumulated may not even may become distractions at this time you know if you have never been through a path before your previous knowledge of anything does not matter what you need is an update of uh, the map 
that is governing your navigation system. Now, listen. It says, Then there they fear the Lord spake often one unto another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And the book of remembrance was written before him for them that fear the Lord and taught upon his name. Verse 17 gives us an idea of the implication of the harvest that I speak about. A season of recompense. There shall be mine, saith the Lord, in the day that I make up my jewels. And I will spare them as a man spared in his own son that served him. 18. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. That's what I'm talking about. In the midst of the trials that you have gone through, the midst of the temptations, the pressures that befell you for the past 10 years, how was your response? Because there is going to be an accelerated and accumulated feedback that is going to be drawn from the nature of seeds that you have sown. And what I'm telling you is already sealed in the heavens and prayers cannot change it. A lot of people started becoming comf comfortable with manipulation. Whenever you pray for me, ask the Lord to touch my left leg. It seems I've been standing for so long and then there's a pain on it. So ask Baba to help me. A lot of people started becoming used to falsehood. Um, wearing masks and trying to impress people. So many other people started keeping relationships, associations that they know has not been sanctioned by God. And you see, the Bible is so clear and you cannot be wiser than the scriptures. What, what did he say about bad communication? That's going to be the end product. So if you are not very strict about your association, it means that you are open to corruption. And so many people no longer think that the scriptures should be accorded the authority it deserves. And what I mean by that is most believers have uh, accepted a place of compromise and they have not allowed themselves to be adequately ruled by the government that is in the word of God. Many people think that church and uh, the things of God are a joke. You know, you can bend it. You have a say when you are working with God. So there's a new God that's been presented now, a God that we can relate with on our own terms and it, the environment can be casual and there is no talk of government and influence. It's about how we can get excited, about how we can get by. The, the implication, the cumulative implication of all of that will begin to speak from this season and like I said this matter that I'm raising here is sealed in the heavens in the first six months of next year it will be evident the, who the carriers of the grace of God to establish God's counsel for the season are Now, just in case someone that has been fake decides to repent today, you will still not escape this fate because what I'm talking about here has been sealed in the heavens. So there is 
a season of recompense that has opened up and the book of remembrance is being currently consulted and the effect of the records will begin to find expression and by mid next year the discernment will be clear it will be easy to discern between the righteous and what the wicked him that serves god and him that serves him no every one of us can masquerade that we're in god's service meanwhile the reason why you are doing what you are doing is so that you can gain visibility which holds the hope of some personal gain and so in your delivery you don't want to offend because you want to be in the good books of your customers so that your scope of leverage possibilities is is wide that is a proof of lack of conviction and if you run that way for if you've been running that way for the last 10 years the implication of your position is going to speak very loud then discernment will become easy because it will be the outcome of what you are and what you have been doing that will be put on the scale now your city in lagos you are going to notice that there are some ministries that have been marked and no matter what uh, management principles and policies are adopted to support such ministries they will keep going down consistently even if you hold night vigils the night vigils will accelerate the going down Because of this curve that the Lord has approved, a lot of people will begin to receive witness from the Lord. You see, discernment, you know, discernment will, a measure of it will be released so that people can ponder the part of their feet. And such as discover that they are not in alignment the Lord will put pressure on so many to find adequate alignment because the Lord says it's not a new page it's not a new chapter it is a new book entirely the things that I speak of are for the wise and he that has ears let him hear what the spirit is saying to the church amen. amen so that is my brief prophetic presentation i'll go back to what i like which is to teach i like doing that one before i make presentations like this i ask many questions in the closet i don't like this ministry of saying okay this is but you see I can't escape it again I escaped it for long I bargained uh, but the Lord will help me in Jesus name Amen. okay we were talking about um, John chapter 14 I want to begin from verse number 15 please don't joke with what I just said for those of you that have ears don't joke with it it's uh, the exodus has begun uh, and what i mean by the exodus is the migration towards alignment uh, so many people will not be comfortable in places they were comfortable in previously and the reason for which the comfort has been withdrawn is because they have stepped into a higher measure of discernment and this new discovery, relocation, and exodus. A movement to find alignment. It will look like a confusion, but it is a blessing. It is the separation of the chaff from the wheat. 
and the chaff is going to go down because a storm will come a storm that the chaff cannot handle will come only that which has weight in the presence of God will survive the storm. I speak in many parables, but he that has an ear can perceive what I'm talking about. So that's a little insight into um, the shape of things. The curves are many. And your human wisdom is going to fail you. You will need to work with a light called discernment. The only way you can get access to this commodity in bountiful measure is when you decide to stay on your knees for at least, in a, in a most unusual way, for at least six months till June. If you intend to loosen your belt after June, you can get back to KFC, you can get back to Chicken Republic. May Lord help us in Jesus' name. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Surprisingly, Jesus says that the proof of love is obedience. Surprisingly. Because it would seem that 